Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. If you guys haven't been following my channel for a little bit, I am a working freelance bridal makeup artist and I love creating makeup artist related content. I've showed you inside my makeup kit. I've showed you how I organize it. And today I thought that it'd be very interesting to take it back to the old school beauty guru days where everybody showed their makeup vanity organization systems. I have not ever showed you guys what I personally keep in my own makeup collection. My makeup kit is completely separate. Some of these things are back stock for my own makeup kit. I also wanted to do this video to show you guys what stuff that I've tried out personally for my makeup kit and then ended up just using for myself because they haven't really worked out. If you guys wanna see a video over my full in-depth freelance makeup kit, then go ahead and check out this video. I will link it up above here. I do make them once a year around March or February. I first wanted to show you guys what my vanity looks like. Everybody always asks me where I got my vanity from and it is from Ikea. These are the Alex Five drawers. I do have the Linman tabletop that is also from Ikea. This lighted LED mirror is actually from Amazon. I do have an Amazon storefront. So every single thing that I mentioned to you guys that I have from Amazon, I will be including in that storefront. I have linked everything by now. And then that is what it looks like when it's all lit up. Also, my dogs are joining me. This is my lab here. And then this is my other dog. <laughs> yes. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> I have this fake plant. I literally have the opposite of a green thumb. I probably kill every single plant that I ever own. I just have a box of tissues right here. As I mentioned, I am a working makeup artist, so I do take my clients at my house sometimes for like special events or bridal previews. So I do have this Venmo code right here. Right here, I do have my thing full of sponges. I have my business cards here. I just have a business card holder. This came from Amazon. Then this is a mug that I have that is full of like random things that will not fit anywhere else. This is actually a Tarte mug. Um, you guys cannot buy these, I don't believe. I actually got this in a Tarte training when I worked with Ulta Beauty. Ideally enough, I actually stuck all of these Tarte lip sticks. They're actually the holiday gift sets for this year, so 2022. This is actually a dry erase marker from this like little clear acrylic tablet I have sitting over the corner. Of course, I always want to have a pen. I do have a Kabuki brush from Jessup that is literally just chilling at the bottom here because it will not fit in this brush holder. And then I do have these hair scissors right here. I usually buy the five pack of the Ardell lashes. I'll cut them up and individually put them inside a container. It's just they're, they're a little bit more compact for me. Then over here, I have these all just for myself. Like none of these I use on my clients or anything. This clear acrylic holder I did get from Amazon, of course. This is a little... LED mirror that I got from Revlon. It just touches on the base. Oh, and just a side note, I also got this trash can from Amazon too. It's really cheap, but it does the job. You just press it on top and then like all of your stuff can just, you know, you can throw it in there. So yeah, that is pretty much it for what the vanity looks like on the outside and kind of what parts and pieces that I use to assemble it. And now I'm gonna go into all the drawers. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? How I decided to organize my vanity was all the drawers right here on the left side are all makeup items. And then all of the ones on the right side over here are the hair care and skincare items. Let me go ahead and start with the top one here. This is all of my eye stuff, liquid eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, brows in here, so pencils, and I also have mascaras. This is what the first drawer looks like. All of the drawers in this makeup section, by the way, do have these acrylic organizers. They all come from an Australian company, I believe, called vanity collections. I'll go ahead and link their information down below. They do specifically make organizers that fit the Alex 5 and the Alex 9 drawers. So in the front here, I pretty much have all the MAC paint pots. These are the actual back stock of the ones that I keep in my makeup kit. So I don't personally touch these myself. So I have Soft Ochre, Painterly, and I also have Groundwork. So this is the e.l.f. Um, brow gel. This is one of the Suva Beauty UV liners. These are all my pigments right here. That's pretty much like what this section is for. So I have two of the Anastasia loose pigments and these are back stocks that I keep from my makeup kit. So I have sand and also crystal. Then I also have three different MAC pigments. I have the shade tan. Then I also have these two that were limited edition. So this one is stars and this one is hearts. This is a Stila liquid glitter. It's in the shade starlight. This is another pigment that I got from Inglot. I think it's almost like reflex gold from MAC. I think it's pretty much a dupe for that, but this is in the shade 30. Then this is something I got from Kaja Beauty. It's one of the bento boxes. Three different eyeshadow shades in one. I have the two Benefit brow pomade.
pomades. I have it in the shade 5 and 4.5. I ended up getting the Gimme Brow, which is from Benefit. I have two number sixes. I have 3.75 and I also have three. I think I am going to be adding these two and then also these four to my makeup kit. These two are from RMS Beauty. I just got these things and I'm actually wearing one of them right now. They're called the Eyelights. So I have this one in the shade Halo, which is a pink color. That's the one I'm wearing right now. And I also have the color Strobe. I am testing both of these out to be in my makeup kit. I think these would be a great addition for my bridal clients. Then I have this single shadow from NYX. This is the only NYX single shadow that I have, but it's such a pretty yellow color. All of these loose pigments are from a brand called Silk Naturals. So the green yellow one is called Quirky and then I have Chameleon and then I also have the shade Boss, which is the purple one. This is a lip balm from Fresh Beauty. It's literally my favorite fragrance. This smells so freaking good. This used to be in my makeup kit, if you guys don't remember. These got to the point of being kind of expired. Um, so I actually just ended up using it for myself. This container right here, you guys can't really see, but it was sitting behind it. This is all of the eyeliners and mascaras and brow gels that I have. Again, these are all the things that I only use in my myself. Seriously, the most awkward angle. First off, I have the Kaja Mascara Trios right here. Then this one is a brow gel that is from Merit. This is the one that I use in myself. I also have a duplicate for my kit as well. It's in the shade brown. Then I have mascaras, like this is from Usum Cosmetics. Um, then I have one from CoverGirl. Then I also have the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I also have the Lawless Soft Shape Brow Pencil right here. I also have the Maybelline Express Brows. And then I have this wing eyeliner stamp by Kaja. Like literally never use it, but it's a very interesting concept for a product. I have an El Maquillage pencil. I'm not going to go through the colors of all these because otherwise it's literally going to freaking take me forever. Then I also have a little travel size of the Laura Mercier cream eyeshadows. There's some of the NYX ones. The slide on glide on eye pencils. I have them in different colors. Like there's green, silver, gold. In here, there's also a blue one, and I also have a purple one too. Then I have a million and one Urban Decay eyeliners in here. Then I have some MAC pencils. These ones used to be kept in my kit, and then I decided to take them out and use them for myself. Then a Lorac pencil in here. And I also have this Kaja liquid eyeliner. It's just a felt tip one. Literally the best liquid eyeliner that I've ever found so far. I have super hooded eyes, and this is the only eyeliner that I've found so far that does not transfer up onto my lids. That is it for that drawer. So I'm gonna go on to the second drawer here, and this is pretty much all the bronzers, blushes, loose powders and also the highlighters as well. So this is probably the most aesthetically pleasing drawer just because I do have it like somewhat organized. This is pretty much what we have going on here and all these acrylic holders that I have right here are from the Vanity Collections. These are all the bronzers and then these are all of the blushes that I have and then these are all the highlighters and then all the loose powders are kind of in the back a little bit. Bronzer wise I have the Hourglass bronzer here. This is in the shade Nude Light. Then I have the Makeup Revolution bronzer. This is one of the dupe videos that I film. Then I also have the Nabla Skin Bronzing Bronzer. This is actually a foundation. <laughs> this is the KVD Good Apple Foundation. It doesn't fit in my foundation drawer, so that's why I put it right here. Then I also have the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Literally not supposed to be in this drawer, but this is the only spot that it would fit. And then I have the Loose Powder in the shade Gobi, which is from Juvia's Place. This is a back stock of the one that I have in my makeup kit. I just didn't have anywhere else to put it. And then I do have this bronzer slash highlighter that did not fit anywhere. This is the Essence um, Coffee Bean Highlighter. Um, literally has a bunch of these like little cute coffee beans and they do smell like coffee as well. Okay, so for blushes, I have the most blushes because I'm literally a blush person. I don't know why or when this happened to be totally honest, but I just started randomly collecting all these blushes. So I have two MAC blushes. Um, they're the mineralized blushes. They're my all-time favorite formula for blushes from MAC. I have Humor Me and Petal Power. This one is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. Then I also have this one. I feel like it's discontinued by now because I've had it for such a long time. This is the It Cosmetics Vitality Flush Blush in the shade matte sweet apple. Seriously, such a pretty pink color. These are the MAC Glow Play blushes. These used to be in my makeup kit. I realized that they're not super hygienic to actually have in your makeup kit because they're um, like a putty kind of consistency, which means they absorb moisture. And I can't just spray them down with alcohol like I can powders. So unfortunately, these went in my personal makeup collection, but I do love them still. I have Blush Please, and then I also have uh, Cheer Up. This is a Tower 28 blush. This is one of the cream blushes in Beach Please. This is one of the ones I was trying to test out to see if I wanted to put it in my makeup kit, but I use the Rare Beauty liquid blushes in my kit and I feel like creams are a little bit harder to work with, especially when you're a working makeup artist and you have to keep everything sanitary. 
And then this is the Clinique blush. This is the Cheek Pop Blush Pop and Cola Pop. Wow, that was a lot of pops going on. <laughs> this is really pretty though. It's just a really deep burgundy kind of tone. I also have used this as an eyeshadow color too. I used to have this as a back stock for my makeup kit until I bought a NARS blush palette and it does have exactly the same shade in it. So I decided to just like remove it from my makeup kit and just use it on myself. Then these three blushes I used to have in my makeup kit and I don't anymore because that NARS blush palette replaced like all the blushes that I had. So this one's in Mood Exposure that I have at night and then I also have um, Luminous Flush. I also have these two blushes here which are the Merit Beauty Flush Balm blushes. I have the one in Beverly Hills which is this uh, peachy tone one and then this berry tone one is called Cheeky. Then I also have a Bare Minerals blush. This green dot right here if you guys don't know and don't work for Ulta Beauty. If you are carrying an item that is sold in Ulta, has to be green dotted. Otherwise you're literally suspected of like stealing things from the store. It's kind of a messed up policy to be completely honest. Like no other store does that. This is a loose blush from Bare Minerals in the shade Awakening Radiance. I did tons of Bare Minerals trainings when I worked for Ulta. So we just got like all this free stuff all the time. Then I have highlighters that are going on right here. I used to have a lot more and then I decluttered them. <laughs> this one is a very discontinued Urban Decay highlighter, but I cannot part with this just because it's such a pretty shade. Isn't the shade Sin? Um, yes, Urban Decay used to have highlighters. Just to let you guys know, I've had this since I worked at Ulta. So it's at least been since like 2014 that I've had this blush. Like it's honestly kind of embarrassing. <laughs> then I have this Makeup Revolution highlighter. This has seriously become one of my favorite highlighters. One of those really beaming highlighters. This is Nabla Skin Glazing. Seriously another favorite of mine in the shade Ozone. And I also have two MAC Limited Edition Holiday Collection highlighters. Again, cannot part with these guys in the shade Snow Flushed. And this is one of the Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. It's more of a chunky highlighter. It has a pink and a gold reflect to it. Seriously so pretty. I love the bow indentation in this too. This was in the shade Whisper of Guilt. I actually bought this because at the time MAC had not released Whisper of Guilt as like a permanent collection with them. For people that know back in the OG MAC days how coveted the Whisper of Guilt shade was when it was limited edition, you'll know. Then I got this as a freebie from Camera Ready Cosmetics. This is the Danessa Myricks highlighting balm. I have literally not hardly touched this thing, but it's a really, really pretty highlighter. And you can also use it to body highlight too. And I feel like that would be really pretty. Then the last highlighter I have here is the uh, Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. I used to have this in my makeup kit. If you guys haven't seen my last couple of makeup kit videos, this was definitely one of them in there. However, I have actually switched to the Dior highlighting quad and it has one that's very similar to this inside of there. In the back here, I have several loose powders. So I have the Huda Beauty powders. These are actually back stocks for my makeup kit. I have the shade Blondie and Sugar Cookie and I also carry Pound Cake, which I need to get another one here pretty soon. Then I also have the Maybelline loose powder. I do use this quite often for myself. And I do have this guy right here, which is also from Bare Minerals. It's the Illuminating Mineral Veil. I have literally not figured out how to use this product. Like it's so, so glittery, almost like a pigment that you could use. But I feel like this is more so meant to be like a loose like eyeshadow pigment or a loose body highlighter as opposed to something you actually want to set your face with or use as a highlighter. That is pretty much my highlighting um, blush and also bronzer drawer. Then this next drawer is all of my face stuff. I just have all my primers just kind of shoved in here because they all have different shape packaging and it's just kind of weird sometimes to organize face products. And then and there's like concealers mixed in with here. And then I also have thick blushes and bronzers too. The previous drawer that I showed you guys in this drawer almost kind of are in combination with each other because they're all face things. Going off of the things that are not like makeup products by any means, these are two brush cleaners from Cinema Secrets. These are just back stock of the ones that I keep in my kit. These are primers. So this is the Becca Cosmetics Backlight Priming Filter. As you guys all know, Becca is not a brand anymore. So I got my hands on a last going out kind of sale. Like the backlight priming filter was everything. Then I also got this primer. It's from Makeup Atelier. It's a hydrating primer. So I totally bought this to go in my makeup kit. And you guys are going to find, especially if you're a makeup artist, that it's all trial and error. Like you're going to have to waste money. You're going to have to spend money on things that you're not going to know if it works or not. And this is one of the products that did not work for me at all. Like I don't even know why I still have it, to be totally honest. It kind of slips and slides all over the place. I've never had luck putting foundations on top of this, whether it's water-based, silicone-based, oil-based, like nothing works on top of this. So yeah, that was definitely one of the duds that was going to go in my makeup kit and just does not work with anything. That's why I highly recommend you buy one thing for yourself, test it out on yourself for like a month straight and try to pair it with different products that you have and see if it works um, because that will tell you whether or 
or not you want to add it to your kit or not. Do not just add things in your kit and try them out on paying clients the first time. It does not work. <laughs> so next I have the pore filling primer. It's completely sealed still. I just didn't want to open it until I was ready to use it. I also do have this Glam Glow Glow Starter Primer right here. Um, I don't really know if I like it underneath things. It kind of is another one of those primers that kind of sits weird underneath makeup. And then I have the little travel size version of the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm not really a fan of this to be completely honest. Like this is so oily and greasy. Like I just can't do it. These are three products that I just got recently that I'm going to be adding to my makeup kit. These are the Melanie Mills Hollywood Body Glows. They're actually in mini size trios on their website right now. I got them off of Camera Ready Cosmetics and they are going to be used for body highlighting my brides for me. They're super waterproof. They dry down so they don't transfer onto clothing or anything, which is really ideal. I've been searching for a body highlighter for my brides for such a long time that doesn't transfer onto their white dresses. This one is in shade Disco Gold, then they have Peach Deluxe and Opalescence. I do have the NYX um, Pour and Shine Primer right here. This is a back stock for my makeup kit. Then I do have the Bioderma Pore Refiner. I don't know if it's actually a primer, but it pretty much does the same as the NARS one. This is the ELP um, Power Grip Primer. It's a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Then I also have a mini size version of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Pretty sure I got this as a freebie as well. This is a ColourPop. I don't know if it's actually like a highlighter or what it's supposed to be. It's in the shade Happy Accident. I don't know. It's like <laughs> this like really deep, like shiny bronzer kind of color, but you can't really use it as a bronzer, but I might use it as a body highlighter during the summer or something. This is the Hey Hi Hello um, from Item Beauty. It's basically a body highlighter, but it looks like a deeper bronze kind of tone. So again, probably won't get used out of that until I hit my summer shade. <laughs> then this is the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter. Seriously love this guy. It works so well. Um, I have it in the shade Mesmerize. This is the Cover FX Glitter Drops. I do use this in makeup looks, and I did this in one of my galaxy themed looks um, on my channel before, and you guys all asked me what it was. I believe they still sell those too. I don't think it's like a limited edition thing with Cover FX. And then moving on over here, these are all blush sticks. I have two blush sticks um, from M Cosmetics. I have one in the shade Pearl Tea and then one in Liche. Um, but yeah, they just look like this. Really pretty soft colors. I have not had a chance to use these yet. I just got these for myself to try out. And then this one is by Nude Sticks. So I have it in the shade Cherie. Also have not had a chance to use this as well. It's so weird. I just buy all this stuff and like don't use it. <laughs> I also have this Merit Beauty Highlighter. You guys know that I've raved about this for such a long time. Like it's very well loved and well used. It's in the shade Cava. I do have two blush sticks from Milk. They're seriously in the same shades. I got them as freebies from Sephora. These are both in the shade Work. Then I have this guy here from Kaja Beauty. This is one of their uh, cheek stamps. It has a little stamp heart on the bottom. I did use this in one of my videos. It's one of those cushion blushes. These ones are all bronzer sticks. So this is the Merit Beauty bronzer. I have it on today. It's seriously my favorite bronzer stick, guys. Like it's so, so good. Looks like this. Mine's in the shade Leo. Then this is one of the LA Girl concealers. It's in the shade Beautiful Bronze, but I use it for a liquid bronzer. It's so pretty. Then um, this is the Illamasqua Gel Sculpt Stick. This is so interesting, guys. Like, it's very, very dark, but then if you actually put it, like, on your skin, look at how pretty that is. It also does have a cooling sensation to it, which I think is really interesting. And it's in the shade Silhouette. I do have a Merit Beauty Complexion Perfection Stick. This is a foundation and concealer stick. Mine's in the shade Sand. And then really quickly, since I'm going over here, I have, like, three setting sprays in this drawer. I have have the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This was supposed to be a dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter spray in one of my videos. I got this actually to test out for my makeup kit. This is the Melanie Mills setting spray. Melanie Mills honestly is a very, very underrated brand and it's a pro brand. So it's not like it's heavily marketed on social media or anything. So that's why a lot of general consumers don't know about it. But this is an aerosol spray. Um, it kind of has a light lavender scent. That's the only thing I'm trying to figure out if people would be sensitive to or bothered by, but it overall has such a fine mist to it. And it's a dry spray. Like it doesn't feel super wet or anything. So I really have liked this so far and it's very, very waterproof. It's kept my makeup on for such a long time. And then I do have the Face Atelier Face Finish Setting Spray, which I have used just on myself for the time being. I'm not really sure if I like it as much as the Urban Decay Setting Sprays or the Scandinavia ones. Again, everything is like freaking trial and error. All right, so all of these are concealers. I just have four of them stuck in like one compartment just because they're so tiny. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. It's a luminizing concealer. I've been using it a lot on myself recently and I seriously love it. This one is from Catrice. This is the True Skin Concealer. Love this guy too. I've been using it as an eyeshadow primer recently and I like it a lot. 
lot. Then I also have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is one of the dupes for the Too Faced um, multi-use concealer. Then I also have the Kylie Cosmetics um, Skin Concealer. I don't think that this is a thing anymore. I think it got discontinued and I pretty much got this right as they were going out. Then these are the Too Faced Born This Way Concealers. This one I use on myself and this one is a backstock for my makeup kit. This is in the color light beige and then this one is in the shade Cloud. And this is the lightest shade that Too Faced carries in this line. So that's why I like to have this one. This is my back stock for the other one um, because I have a back stock for the one for my kit. So this is in light beige. Now we're going on to foundations. So the first one that I have is this really old Milani Conceal and Perfect. Dude, I have no idea how long I've even had this for, but it's taken me no joke, probably like five years to get through this. And you're only supposed to keep foundations for like two years max. Like <laughs> it's honestly kind of a problem. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. Although I accidentally got it in the dewy version as opposed to the matte version. And that's why it hasn't really worked that well. Then also I have the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is the matte and poreless one. If you guys are starting out as a makeup artist, seriously, such a good foundation to start out with. They have a really amazing color range and it's very inexpensive. I think these guys are only like $8 a piece or something. So you're not spending like a whole ton of money when you're first starting. Then this is another really good one too. It just has a little bit of a floral kind of scent. That's like the only thing I don't like about this foundation. This is the L'Oreal Freshwear foundation. Um, I do have all of these of course in my actual color ranges because I use these on myself only. Guys, look at how freaking old this packaging is. This is the KBD Locket Foundation. Yes, this foundation is still sold, but how you know it's so old though is that it actually says Kat Von D on it on here because this is when Kat Von D still owned her own brand. Comment below what your oldest freaking foundation is and if you still use it or not because it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I keep track of expiration dates for all of my stuff in my makeup kit for my clients but like on myself I do not care like it's so terrible. <laughs> all right then moving on here this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation. I tried this in my makeup kit. I had three of these guys in different shades. Actually I'm wearing it today which is kind of funny. I I love this on myself, but for some reason I cannot get it to not apply super thick and super cakey on other people. This has honestly been my favorite freaking foundation so far of this year. This is the Long Come Care and Glow Foundation. It has a luminosity to it and is super, super hydrating. Really been loving it for the winter time. These are all back stocks for my makeup kit. So this is a back stock, the only one that I have, by the way. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I do carry this in my kit. Then I do have all of the NARS Natural Radiant Foundations um, right here. I have four back stocked, but I think I have six that I carry in my kit. Everybody always is obsessed with like what colors that I keep in my makeup kit or something. And that is totally determining on what kind of clients that you service the majority of the time. And also you don't have to buy every single shade in the range. NARS has a seriously large amount of foundation ranges. I think they have like over like 50 colors or something. And I only carry six of them. And then I mix like all the rest of the times. So then I'm gonna move on to the second bottom drawer here. As you guys can tell, this is primarily empty just because I'm not like a huge lipstick person anymore. Do you guys remember back in like the OG Mac days? People had these massive Mac lipstick collections that they would do on YouTube. It was probably around like 2012, 2013, which is pretty much when I got into makeup. And I had literally 50 to 60 shades of MAC lipstick at one point in time, but it was a waste. Like you cannot realistically as one person use that many lipsticks and they expire like after a year. So I don't personally keep a ton of lip products anymore. If you guys can't tell, these are all shallow right here. So just for like lipsticks. And then these are all a little bit taller. So these can fit like lip glosses or liquid lipsticks, whatever you want to put in here, but they are different heights. Don't ask me why, but I have all the Face Atelier foundations sitting in here. These are not lip products, obviously. I don't know why I don't have them up with my foundation drawer. <laughs> they sent me a whole bunch of their products at one point in time because they found one of my review videos over the Face Atelier foundation. These are one of my favorite foundations that I keep in my kit and also in the entirety of foundations too, just like a, as a general foundation, like they are my favorite because they're a medium to full coverage. They're silicone based. They last a really long time. They fill in fine lines and wrinkles. They don't look really heavy or cakey on mature skin types. Like they're honestly amazing. Um, they have more of a satin, like hydrating kind of finish to them. But the thing I like about them the best is they have all these freaking color adjusters. So any single undertone that you ever need to adjust four foundations they have. All of these are the color adjusters. These are the three back stocks of the shades that I have in my kit. Then I do have this Face Atelier Lip Lock, which basically turns anything into a liquid lipstick and very transfer proof, except for the fact that it kind of almost operates like the lip sense. If you guys haven't tried those before, it leaves like a really awful tingling sensation on your lips. But unfortunately, I don't think this would be comfortable for my clients. So I'm just going to use it for myself. Then all of these are lip glosses, I think, um, for the most part. This guy right here, this is a sample that I 
I got for free was Sephora points. This is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss. Then I do have this guy, which is from Alamar Cosmetics. This is in the shade Birthday Suit. This is the Clarins um, Velvet Lip Perfector. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm at one point in time. Comment below if you guys have been here long enough to see my BoxyCharm videos because I used to upload BoxyCharm hauls. And then I do have two of the NARS Velvet Lip Glides. I used to have these in my makeup kit and then ended up taking them out and they don't really have a lot of staying power. So I decided not to have these in my kit anymore. This is in the shade Stripped. And then I also have Roseland. This is a clear lip gloss that is really cheap that I got at a beauty clearance event. This came in a boxy charm as well. It's by Jessica Leibsky. It's in the shade Pink Sequin. Then I have this guy right here, which is the soft matte lip cream right here. This is by NYX. And this one is in the shade Cans. This is something that I got from KVD Beauty. They sent this as a PR thing uh, along with that good apple foundation that I showed you guys earlier. It's the Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipstick. That's the full name of it. Sorry, that was a really long name. <laughs> and this is in the shade Upspeak. It's actually a very orange toned red color. They are not completely transfer proof. It's not like a liquid lipstick or anything, but they don't transfer out of your teeth. It's a very interesting formula to describe, but I would love to get a bunch of neutral shades in this and then have it to just you know, have for like everyday use. Then these are all lip liners. Um, these are pretty much all the lip liners that came out of my makeup kit at one point in time. These are all the Gerard Cosmetics ones. So this is in the shade Mudslide. Then this was in the shade Share. And then this is in the shade Sugar and Spice. Then I have a Charlotte Tilbury one, which is in the shade Love Trap. Then I have the NARS Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Corella. It's a very pretty red color. And then um, these are all the MAC lip liners. This is in the shade Brick. And then this one is in Cherry. Then I have one NYX um, Suede Matte Lip Liner. Um, and this is in the shade Club Hopper. Then this is the only lip liner that would not fit in here just because it's super tall. This is one of the USUM double ended lip liners. I have all the USUM nude lip liners in my kit, but this is the only one that was kind of out there and I knew I'd never use. This is from Kaja. Um, this is one of their Love Swipe liquid lipsticks or lip creams. And this is in the shade Sweet Softy. These are all the Merit Beauty lipsticks slash um, lip oils. So this is the shade that I'm actually wearing right now. This is in the shade Taupe. Then I have um, Eau Naturelle. And then this is in Sangria. And these are the lip Sticks. Um, I have the shades uh, Tiger and also Lavanu. These are back stocks for my kit, by the way. I don't use these on myself. Then these two are ones that I did want to use in my makeup kit, but ended up not really working out that well. So these are from Face Atelier. These are their two lipsticks. They're the Lip RX. So I have the shades Sahara and Primrose. They would not be that pigmented to use on my clients. So that's why I decided not to use them in my kit. I think the rest of these are pretty much back stocks for my makeup kit. So I have two of the Essence Cosmetics lipsticks. These are honestly really nice. I have the shades loyal and special. They're both like peachy kind of tones. And then I have all these Sephora Lip Stories <laughs> collection lipsticks. Um, I have three of these number three three shades. It's in the shade Wee. And then this one is in the shade Love Love. Um, literally, if you combine the two of these, they make a really excellent bridal nude shade. Then these are two back stocks of MAC lipstick shades that I carry. So I carry the shade You Wouldn't Get It in Cream Cup. I have this from Rimmel Cosmetics. This is in shade Bordeaux. It's just a very like deep wine purple color. Don't use it super often, but if somebody needs it, then I have it. Then this is by Huda Beauty. Just a deep like purple kind of shade. It's more gray toned than I thought it would be, so I don't use it super often, but it's in the shade Dirty 30. Then I also have this Juvia's Place one. It's in the shade Muted. Looks like this. It's just like a sandy brown kind of color. I actually use this quite often to mix in with things. Um, I have another one of the Juvia's Place ones in the shade Chic. This is more of like a pink kind of like nude color. Um, and then I also got this one too. I haven't done anything with it yet. <laughs> this is by NYX. This is one of the suede uh, matte lipsticks. You guys are gonna be like, what the heck? Okay, so <laughs> every once in a while, I have somebody who requests like a bright pink lipstick, which happens sometimes with Middle Eastern weddings that I do. I like to have hot pinks like this because I can mix it in with like a red or a purple and make more of like a magenta or like a berry shade. But yeah, that is pretty much all for the lipstick sections. And then the last section I have is this bottom drawer, which is all the eyeshadow palettes slash face palettes that I have. So I guess I'll go on the top first just because these are <laughs> just gonna chill here and get in the way. It's the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. I love the freaking colors that come in here. I have this Be Perfect Cosmetics clientele palette with Makeup by Ja. She's a really talented Sydney makeup artist um, and she collaborated with Be Perfect to release this palette. All these pans are empty because I scraped them out and repressed them into my own palettes. This is the most expensive palette that I have. As you guys can tell by the packaging, this is from Pat McGrath. It's the Divine Rose one. You have to always freaking keep the Pat McGrath palette packaging because like if you get rid of it, it's kind of a crime. Super, super pretty. I use this on my wedding day actually. Seriously, the most amazing formula for eyeshadows that I've ever used. Then these two right here, I don't even know why I freaking even keep these guys. These are part of the Snowball collection with MAC. Seriously, so old. It's like a bronze shade and then a lighter champagne shade. Then this is one that is more of an interesting color story, but I do use this every so often. 
Then I also have the Naba Cosmetics um, Ruby Lights Glitter Palette. It's super interesting of a formula, guys. Like, they already have an adhesive, like, built into these. So all you have to do is, like, apply these directly to your eyes. This is my oldest eyeshadow palette that I have. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, if you guys didn't know, this palette legitimately came out in, like, 2011 or 2012. Like, it's so, so old. Like, I'll have to look it up. It's basically an all-pressed pigment palette. The reason that I keep this is because this kind of is what started my makeup career. This palette I actually bought the same day that I got hired in with Ulta Beauty. It's very nostalgic because if I hadn't gotten hired in at Ulta, like I don't think I would have started a makeup artistry career. I have this Tarte Maneater palette. I'm pretty sure you can still get this, although this is pretty old. Just a bunch of neutral eyeshadow colors. I freaking love the way Tarte eyeshadow palettes smell. It's kind of like a vanilla icing kind of smell. I usually take this a lot of times when I'm going on trips and traveling. It's just a very like nicely compact palette. Then I have this guy. I got this in a boxy charm. This is the Ace Beauté Bronze in Paradise contour palette. Very, very orange palette. Like, I don't even know what to do with this. I'll use this as eyeshadow tones. I don't know where else you would use this. Like, it's so orange on your face. This is another face palette. This is the Cover Effects palette. I don't know if you can still get these or not. They have three highlighter shades on top. They're absolutely gorgeous. Like, their formula is so good. This is a contour color. Then you have a finishing powder, which I, like, literally never use. And then this blush color is really pretty, too. Then I also have this guy here. I used to keep this in my makeup kit, but now I just keep it for myself. This is the Dior Backstage palette, the custom eye palette. That's what it's called. I just don't get a lot of use out of these color tones, so that's the only reason, but I do like the formula of these. Although Dior does have this weird eyeshadow base right here that does not work at all. Like, it's so bad. Do not use it. I have the Tardis Pro to Go eyeshadow palette. I think I got this in Ulta's gratis. Yep, I did. Green dot. Then this is another one of the mini ones. I actually got this recently. This is part of that Coffee Glow to Go collection with Essence. This one doesn't smell like coffee, but it just has like coffee type colors. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. This is the first one, not the rose gold one that he just came out with not too long ago. You got two cream shades right here. And then all these are powders, one of my favorites. Then I also got this one from Il Maquillage. This is actually in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. If you guys haven't been on YouTube for a really long time, Kathleen Lights has been like one of the OG content creators on this space. All these are shimmer colors and oh my gosh guys these are so freaking pretty i actually bought this palette specifically for these three shades but i also like the neutral and cool tone shadows all right then i'll go on to all my viseart palettes that i have so these are the three that i carry i do every once in a while use these in my makeup kit i don't use them on myself usually i have the editorial brights palette dark mattes palette and then also the neutral mattes and viseart is a more pro artist brand so a lot of people haven't heard about them but they have very minimal fallout but the pigmentation on them is insane the newer packaging actually has slots that you can take out and then put them in a magnetic palette if you want to. This is a Makeup Revolution palette. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Soft Glam palette and I actually like this a little bit better to be completely honest. Um, this is what it looks like. Then these are all my Anastasia palettes. Modern Renaissance. I just accidentally cracked this shadow though. It was like a bright pink color. Then I have the Soft Glam palette. This is literally my favorite Anastasia palette. I think that she's ever released. Like I love this thing. Then I have the Anastasia Sultry palette. This is such a pretty palette guys. It's very cool toned. I don't know if you can buy this one or not. Anymore. I'm not really sure. I don't think that you can. Then um, this was actually the Jackie Ina palette. She's another YouTuber on the space. I love the color tones in here. Like these are so pretty. Then this is the Anastasia Subculture palette. I know this got a lot of hate, but um, I actually really love it. Then this is the Anastasia Riviera palette. This one wasn't overly hyped, but I actually like it for the packaging of it. And then look at the tones in here. It was so, so pretty. And then these are two magnetic palettes. These came out of Morphe palette, but I just depotted everything and put them into here because they were like such big palettes. And these are like bright tones colors. This is from Nabla. Again, I love Nabla's palettes. This is the Secret palette. These are seriously one of the best eyeshadow formulas I've found. I don't know why I don't have more, but this is such a pretty color story, and I love all the shimmers. They do really well at mattes. Then these back here are the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes. There's the gold bar one, and then there's also the original one. Don't laugh at this. I need to buy another one. So I dropped this at one point in time, and all of these shattered. Every once in a while, I'll just open it and smell it. Like, it still has the chocolate bar smell to it. This one is honestly one of my freaking favorites. Like, look at the color of this. I don't know if you can still buy this or not. These are mainly all shimmers, except for these four right here. Then I just have empty palettes in here. Oh, actually, just kidding. This one isn't empty. Um, This is backstock of my brow powders that I keep in my kit. I just didn't have anything else. 
do with them. And then at the very back here, <laughs> when I get really creative, guys, I do face paints. So um, this is the Ben Nye Magic Cake Aqua Paint. So you just add water to all of these and then you can just draw them on your face. They come with like little seals on them. So if I ever get the mood to do like Halloween looks or if I just want to get like a little bit more creative with myself, then I do have these as an option. Okay, guys, I'm getting to the point where I'm like starting to lose my voice. I still have a whole entire other set of drawers. <laughs> okay, so I don't think I'm gonna be going through like every single product this time because I know you guys are probably mostly just interested in like the makeup that I carried. So this is gonna be all my skincare and hair care stuff. So I'm gonna kind of breeze through this a little bit quicker. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Let me go onto the top drawer first in this. I have like a little box that's full of like eyelash curlers, hair ties, um, tweezers, lash glue. These are all individual lashes that are from Maquillage Beauty that I got online. And these are back stocks for my makeup kit. Have business cards all in here. Then I have like a random like blotterazzi sort of situation. I have my molds from Artist Kit Company to like repress shadows in here. Um, I have chargers that are sitting back there. And then I have um, like my headbands that I use to push back my hair whenever I'm doing makeup looks on myself. All my camera batteries are sitting right here. It's just like a whole mess of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just <laughs> close that one. Then moving on to this one, this is the one that's a little bit more exciting because it actually has like products inside of it and whatnot. So this is my makeup remover face mask slash moisturizing drawer, I think. These two over here are like toner pads. Then I have a random night cream that's sitting here. This is a moisturizer. This is a back stock for my makeup kit. I use the Believe Aqua Balm in my makeup kit. Then I have this whole thing, which is just full of cotton pads that I can use on myself. Um, all of these things in this are uh, makeup removers, except for these guys. I have these acne dots that adhere to your face from Peter Thomas Roth. I just use those on myself. Um, I have an eye makeup remover from Beauty 360. Then I also have a random nail file in here too. I don't know where else to put it. All of these are makeup removing balms. So I have like this one from CeraVe. And there's this one. One, and then I also have this one. Then I have all my makeup remover wipes from Kirkland that are sitting in here. I have this large pack and then these like smaller packs. Let's slide this one over. All of these are face masks slash moisturizers. This one here. And I have this as a moisturizer. This is a little moisturizer. This is a face mask. I have a travel size like glam glow. This is a mask. This is also a mask, which I'm almost done with, obviously. This one is a mask. I used this this morning and I really loved it a lot. I just get random like things sometimes and I'll just try them out for a little bit. Um, and then this is the last one, I think. That is what that drawer consists of. Then down here, obviously there's a ton of stuff going on. I pretty much have like sunscreens, serums, any like body supplements or products or something in here too. I have cleansers. This is a sunscreen. This is a body oil. Um, then I have like an exfoliator right here. This is the Sonia Roselli Sex Appeal. Then I randomly got this as like a sample. So this is the um, bronzer from Loving Tan. I have two different facial sprays. In here I have the Evian one and also the little Roche Pose one. Back here I have all these like supplements and I'm not sure how I ended up with so many. My dog's literally in here. Huh? Hi. This is a dietary supplement for your skin just to like get rid of zits and stuff and balance it out. Now this is the Alani New balancing supplements. I don't know. I heard a lot about Alani New. I've tried these before and I don't know if I like them necessarily. You have to take four of these and they are giant. Like it's so inconvenient. I also have vitamin E supplements. I'm not really sure why I have these to be totally honest, but at one point in time, apparently I thought I needed them. Then these are Nature's Bounty hair, skin, and nails vitamins. Then all the way in the back... <laughs> I have um, these face mask sponges. I bought these to use on my clients for like the luxury bridal facials that I do on people, but they're not really super convenient because I don't always have running water as an option. Then I have two of these guys and they're super random. These are the Mally's B Flex and B Flat creams. This is a lifting and firming arm cream, this purple one. And then this one is a B Flat belly cream. They have like a weird tingling sensation to them. And I don't know if I like them necessarily, but they were kind of expensive. So I just kept them. Moving on, I have a cleanser from CeraVe. So that is the hydrating cleanser. All right. And then next I have some deodorants in here. Just have this Caudalie, um, you know, fresh deodorant here. I have not had a chance to use it yet. I use this currently. It's the native one. Love it so far. Then I have a toner that's sitting right here. This is the Merit Great Skin Perfecting Serum. Then I also have an e.l.f. cleanser. And then I also have the Sonia Roselli water oil. Love this stuff. It's a backstock for my kit. I also have this guy, which is also a backstock for my kit as well. This is the Sonia Roselli water elixir. And then these are all eye creams right here. Like it's kind of ridiculous. Like I just have like all of these like <laughs> eye serums and everything. These are serums. Like there's this Murad one. Oh, this is a facial mist right here, which probably should go over here, but I just didn't like <laughs> think about it. Let's see. This is the... 
Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner. And this is the Clinique Turnaround Revitalizing Lotion. I don't use this super often, but I'm just trying to use it up at this point in time. Serum. There's like a couple of serums from um, Naturum. Naturum, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, there's one from this brand here. Sometimes I just get scent stuff and like I don't have time to use these so they kind of just become back stock. These are the same thing. I don't know why I have two of them. They're basically a sunscreen that's like more of a serum based. So yeah, that is pretty much what I have as far as that drawer right there. Then if you go down to the second drawer here, this is where it becomes more of a hot mess situation. I'm not gonna lie. So these are all things for my touch up kits. Like I have like bags in here. I have my sample jars. Um, these are all disposables. These are all like the mini tech tacks that I have for my makeup kit. Uh, these are all makeup kit things too. Um, label maker. Yeah, that is pretty much what that drawer consists of. Then on the bottom drawer here, this is all my hair stuff. Um, I'm not even gonna go into depth, but it pretty much has hair brushes, hot tools, and then all my stuff for my hair is like back here. So I have like dry shampoos. There's a heat protector there's like a silken and gloss there's hairsprays and then all my brushes are sitting right here that I use for my hair kit um, I don't do hair super often but whenever I do it for photo shoots then I have like all my hair stuff here that is pretty much it for that drawer so yeah that is pretty much what is inside of my makeup vanity so if you guys really did enjoy the video definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave any questions and comments down below and yeah definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel as I mentioned before I do work as a makeup artist and so I make makeup artists related content on my channel tips vlogs tutorials etc. So if you guys are interested in that sort of content, then definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.